Oh uh-huh. 
if uh, any Prabhuji wants to recite. Matras Parsha. Century perception. Two. Two. Only. Kaunteya. O son of Kunti. Sheeta. Winter. Ushna. Summer. Shukha. Happiness. Dukha. And pain. Da. Giving. Agama. Appearing. Apainaha. Disappearing. Anityaha. Non permanent. Tan. All of them. Titikshava. Just try to tolerate. Bharata. O descendant of Bharat dynasty. Translation and proper price divine grace is Bhakti Vedanta Swami Shapopada Ki. O son of Kunti, the non permanent appearance of happiness and distress and their disappearance in due course are like the appearance and disappearance of winter and summer seasons. They arise from sense perceptions, ocean of Bharata, and one must learn to tolerate them without being disturbed. In the proper discharge of duty, one has to learn to tolerate non-permanent appearance and disappearance of happiness and distress. According to Vedic injunction, one has to take bath early in the morning. Even during the month of Magha, January, February, it is very cold at that time. But in spite of that, a man who abides by the religious principles does not hesitate to take bath. Similarly, a woman does not hesitate to cook in the kitchen in the months of May and June, the hottest part of the summer season. One has to execute his duty in spite of climatic inconveniences. Similarly, to fight in the religious principle of Kshatriya. And although one has to fight with some friend or relative, one should not deviate from his prescribed duty. One has to follow the prescribed duties and regulations of religious principles in order to rise up to the platform of knowledge because by knowledge and devotion only can one, de only can one liberate himself from the clutches of maya, illusion. The two different names of address given to Arjuna are also significant. To address him as Kaunteya signifies his great blood relations from his mother's side. And to address him as Bharata signifies his greatness from his father's side. From both sides, from both sides he is supposed to have a great heritage. A great heritage brings responsibility in the matter of proper discharge of duties. Therefore, he cannot avoid fighting. Om Jnanati Mirandasya Jnananjana Salakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha Sri Chaitanya Manobhishtam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Shwayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Shwapadantikam Bandeham Sri Guru Sri Yukta Padakamalam Sri Guru Vaishnavamsa Sri Rupam Shatrajatam Shahagana Rakunatam Vitam Tam Sajivam Shadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Shahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Sri Vishakam Vitam Shah E Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpati Gopi Shagopi Ka Kanta Radha Kanta Namastute Tapta Kancha Nagodangi Radhe Vrinda Vrishwari Prishapano Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vancha Kalpataru Vyascha Kripa Sindhu Vyavacha Patitanam Pavane Pyo Vishnavi Pyo Namo Namaha Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityana
ಆನಂದಾ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶ್ರೀ ವಾಸಾಧಿಯೋರ ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಮತ್ರಸ್ಪರ್ಶಸ್ತುಕೋತೆಯ ಶೀತೋಷ್ಣ ಶುಕ್ಕ ದುಃಖದ ಆಗಮಾಪಾಯಿನೋ ನಿತ್ಯ ಸ್ಥಾಂತಿಕ್ಷಸ್ವಭಾರತ ಓ ಸನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕುಂತಿ ದ ನಾನ್ ಪರ್ಮನೆಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿ ಡಿಸಪ್ರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಕೂರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿ ಎಪ್ರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿಸಪ್ರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿಂಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಮರ್ ಸೀಸನ್ಸ್ ದೇ ರೈಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಓ ಸಿಯನ್ ಆಫ್ ಭಾರತ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಮಸ್ ಲರ್ನ್ ಟು ಟೋರ್ ಇಟ್ ದೇನ್ without being disturbed so <clears throat> this is very interesting chapter um, bhavita in this particular section is very very um, significant i want to show you a small video uh, and we will be discussing today's uh, topic based on this small video this is based on a true story and uh, please try to grab uh, and relate this the video with the spiritual it's not not a spiritual video as a very um, you'll you'll start saying it but you try to relate our life and connect with this video in a spiritual basis
also worth it. So we can see in this video <coughs> the most first important expect about about this is suffering is very natural and it comes with this material body uh, see when we are entering when he comes that's a hospital like we actually enters over here I saw like the police department we have wanted over here people so basically we, we rejected Krishna with our freedom and we wanted to enjoy. Can you summarize what happened? Because we couldn't read. The, those clips will come. I'm not gonna keep all all the thing, but we will. I'll try to relate those clips and connect. Uh, no, what I meant was we didn't know what was oh. going on. I can see the subtitles. Stop it. You can see the subtitle. No. Oh. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We can just tell what happened. So what is happening over here? Um, that. This lady, is, her husband, has some liver issues and she needs a liver donor. And the doctor um, and her, her, his wife actually matches the liver, but she was fat. The, the, because of overweight, she cannot transplant the liver. She had to, if she needs to donate the liver, she has to lose weight. So, in two months. And the doctor said, you can try, give a try, but if it is not, it's okay, we'll find somebody else. But this lady was so dedicated that I have to do it. I'm going to make it, right? I want to do it. So she started like, you know, thinking, how can I do it? And second thing is, we're going to talk about this aspect, but she goes like, you know, to, to the stores, but she cannot afford because it's too expensive. Like, you know, the machines to do all these things is very expensive. You cannot afford. And she, she knows some friend, like, you know, maybe they will lend me hand. So they guided him, here is the tools. She can use it. Then she <clears throat> started, but in the beginning she doesn't know how to use it. So slowly she adapts, she learns and start using it. And but she was trying, but it was not working. Then she thought that now I have to go out of out of the box. Then she day and night it doesn't matter. Like you know she's putting her diet. You know. Then later in the time given time period of two months she was able to transform herself so that she can donate this liver to her husband. So that's, a, and see all the children we didn't know like what was happening. And so, and she was like really working hard, you know, doing her duty, responsible and everything. And on top of that, like, you know, she has this, this, this focus, what she has to achieve, right? So that's particular thing we'll be focusing. <clears throat> so, Sri Bhaktivinoda Thakur actually talks at this beautiful bhajan and bhuliya tumare samsare asiya pae nana dukhave tha tumara charani asiya chiyami bhuli bo dukhi rakha so actually krishna i rejected you so now because because i wanted to enjoy freely i want to use my free uh, free will to enjoy without you so i i fell down to this material world right now i'm suffering the first thing whenever actually we disconnect ourselves from the spiritual then the suffering starts so we can see in this material world suffering is very common there's a saying in hindi koi tan se dukhi koi man se dukhi koi dhan vi na udas thoda thoda sab dukhi sukhi sham kadas everyone in some shape or form the suffering is there right somebody has money but they have some different kind of uh, distress somebody has money they are distressed because they are not beautiful something is working that is divorce this so many anxiety you know workload somebody has work there's also anxiety somebody doesn't have a work there's also anxiety so this suffering is always comes with this body you have to go through it so why this suffering comes and Krishna, this is very interesting. Krishna tried to ex explain this aspect very nicely when Arjuna was con trying to connect himself like with this his family members in the war. Like then the Kurukshetra is going to happen. Oh, this is my Bhishma. This is my Guru Dronacharya. This is my brothers. Like what is the worth of fighting? So see, he's trying to connect himself with something related to himself. And just like, you know, if I, like if I'm from Nepal or somebody from India, 
they they relate themselves as Indian, for example, and somebody speaks bad about Indian. So if you are relating yourself as an Indian, somebody is making some demark about Indian, you will get hurt because because you are relating yourself as Indian. But if you are not Indian, it will not hamper much to you, right? So if if you are you are relating yourself as a Hindu, right? Somebody talks about bad about Hindu, you not take it like you you try to like you retaliate because now because you're trying to relate yourself as as a hindu just like you know now nowadays like you know the boys and girls men f like women free f freedom like you know all these things because they're relating themselves as a woman or a man body so this whenever the relationships comes based on the body then we try to relate and our suffering is based on that relations what we're trying to get so as krishna talks about like even before this sloka actually krishna talks about this uh, the temporary nature of this body right after krishna uh, after arjuna surrenders right karpanya dosu bhata swabha prakshamitam dharma samudha cheta yashreya nishitam bruhitam me shishyasti ham sadhimam tam prapannam krishna now i mean i'm bewildered right what to do what not to do please guide me then krishna how he reacts to his um, proposition of accepting him through chastisement he says asuchanan vasuchustam pragyavadam sabhasasi gatasun nagatasun nanu suchanti pandita all your talks you doing like pandita you talking like big big things but actually you are full arjuna because why then he explains that actually you relating all your talks is based on the body which are very temporary and which is not real right then he talks about dehi no spin that exactly before this is dehi no spin tha dehi komaram yuvanam jara tatha dehantara prapti dhiras tatnamati you are not this body right the body changes from childhood to old age and you have to die and take birth accordingly and krishna this this particular shloka matras pasustu is a very very important shloka for arjuna actually and if someone does not like relate with this shloka actually is a very difficult to live in this material material world very very difficult because krishna try to explain that everyone is an every person in this world who ever gets the body they have to go through this pain and happiness right this is a cycle happiness and distress like this the sankalpa and vikalpa this is always like accepting and rejecting you have to go through this right but uh then then after that he started speaking about the nature of this soul like you're not his body now what is soul then he's, he talks about like you know the soul what is what is the nature you know what kind of properties he has nainam chinnanti sastrani nainam dahati pav all this lokas he started and explaining arjuna the deeper knowledge and disconnecting himself from from this body and and connecting to the supreme duty the soul and what you are actually because do not relate yourself from the temporary things until and unless you are tied up with the temporary things that this is my body like you know i'm related with this family and then the suffering to start so that's one of the thing so suffering basically is based on our body but many many devotees in shrimad bhagavatam actually considers that why this suffering happens there is very one special brahmana ramchandra prabhu was uh, giving lecture last time uh, about avanti brahman very special brahman this brahman actually this past time comes in bhagavatam where krishna actually explains about this brahmana from avanti des to uddhav that there was a this brahmana but because he was so miser he was so rich but very miser very cunning you know he didn't care about any any of his family you know everything for himself he doesn't he didn't even care about the demigods worshiping just want to collect nothing for charity nothing he wants to just earn 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 but by providence everything was taken away all his family member left right then he started realizing this all then immediately like this detachment started in his heart he just gave up he left and took sanyas and started walking and and is and very interested in every village he used to go people used to treat him so bad they used to fart him on his face like he's trying to do meditation somebody comes and fart fart at you how how you feel 
he goes in a begging bowl it's yes, literally they used to spit him spit the on the begging bowl pee on it somebody is like some children used to like you know do like stool on on it very ridiculous condition he was in but he was very undisturbed because he says nayam jano me sukha dukha hetu na devatatma grah karma kala mana param karanam atmananti samsar chakre parivartayetya he said nayam jano me actually it's not my relatives actually who is giving me this suffering nayam jano me sukha dukha hetu this happiness and distress is not caused by caused by my my relatives nayam jano me sukha dukha hetu na devata neither the demigods is cause of my distress distress of happiness na devata atma grah karma kala neither the planetary position this grah this rao nothing is it na grah karma kala neither my karma and neither time na grah grah karma kala mana parama karanam atmananti it's my mind how i take it how i take the, how i perceive these things is based on that because of this mind samsara chakre parivartayar i go and wander in this material world and suffer or do it's based on my mind so he consider this mind actually is a cause of our suffering or our happiness like and other in bhagavan character krita dhuti um, if anyone knows krita dhuti she is actually wife of chitrakeetu maharaj so we know the past time of chitrakeetu maharaj that he had so many wives it i think 1 crore 100000 wives he had because he had he had he wanted children but no children from one of any of them but he was really frustrated like that he was a king everything is on his hand but only thing was disturbing is i want son 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 like you know, i need a son but and one day angira muni comes right and he was serving him very nicely but he was begging angira muni please bless me with the son he says you don't have son in your in this life it's not in your faith he is for you can do it so he gave he gave us son harshashoka then this son was born through to the duty among all the wife see give this birth of this son so what happened krishna this this uh, king chitraketu maharaj was so much focused in this wife so taking care of this wife wife and other other wife started like what is this happening before the king used to love us like you know care take care of us he has no like you know difference now like you know only krishna duty krishna what is this mantra ka going on right and he they thought oh this is because what is the change it's the baby the, the child is the issue so they poison him and kill this boy so then krita duty actually very she started blaming after the son was dead like a very long story then she actually condemns that is a destiny is cause of all this suffering cause of all this pain and happiness is because of this destiny it started you know condemning the lord so very interesting in the same way duryodhan he always think this is vidur is the one he is cause of all this suffering our our you know headache is all this vidur he always have some crooked plans i we try to kill pandavas in um, this lakha house vidur somehow manages and gives some way like you know like his father was could be a king he could become a king somehow this vidur tricks all his logics or vedas his scriptures like you know and <laughs> takes all this logic out of it this vidur is the issue he says all our our problems our suffering is because of this vidur he considers himself vidur as the cause diti right the the mother of the de- um, demons she considers the demigods are the cause of our my suffering you know they are the cause so because this indra everyone is bothering my my children so they are the cause hiranyakashipu he thought lord vishnu is the cause he is always partial he is always partial right and this is causing suffering so and and brahma actually says karma is the cause of happiness and distress in uh, shloka he says 
It's explained there are three doers who, who perform the actions. So one is the Prakriti, the second is Jiva and Ishwara. So Jiva actually desires, I want this. Like I want I want to have this. I want to I want to um, like you know enjoy certain things. Then Prakriti facilitates that body according to your desire like somebody like i want to be like you know a fish always swimming so take a body of a fish so you become a fish, fish in the next life so one time Sri Prabhupada and his disciple were work, um, walking and some some of the um, sea or some some river people were like you know putting uh, the mud on their body and you know all these things and and disciple asked look at this Prabhupada what are you doing you know what will be their condition in next life? So uh, they, they, they like pigs. So Prabhupada says they will become pig next time. And the way they are acting, they are actually pig already now. They are just waiting for the body to be prepared. So inside, internally, they are actually pig. All their habits, all their nature actually is that mentality. So just waiting the body to be adapted based on on that so and based on the jiva this design we perform some different kind of actions right so some according to our three whatever modes we are in right according to our, if you are in goodness we perform the the activities based on that so if somebody perform action in goodness in their life they actually go to heavenly planets right somebody per performs the act activities based on passion so generally they come to earthly planet to enjoy with different kind of body passionate so they come to this this earth again but those who are born those who perform actions and activities in the modes of ignorance they get lower body just like animals insects or even go to hellish planet and there are and whenever we we do some actions so there's something will come as a reaction. So this, this is a cause, like whenever, why things happen. So there are three main um, causes. One is immediate cause, remote cause, and ultimate cause. Just like uh, a mosquito, like, if somebody, I, like somebody gets malaria. Like why me? So who is the cause of this getting malaria onto me? The first, the immediate cause is the mosquito, right? So why I got malaria? Why not somebody else got malaria? Why me? This mosquito had to bite me like, you know, somebody had to go and bite somebody. Why me? Right? It because I might have some karma that because of that action I have done, I have to go through the suffering. That's the remote cause. And the ultimate cause is the sanctioner. Now, the, who is sanctioned this? Now, this mosquito has to go to bite this person. Who sanctioned this? Actually, the Supreme Lord, the Paramatma inside the mosquito actually does this and so that this activity is performed. Now we can see on these pictures, do you think these are food? No. No, no right? But people think these are food. Because of which now people are suffering in China in so many places. This coronavirus, where it came from? People eating this. You see that? So when you do some kind of thing that is beyond your nature, you like you try to challenge nature, it has to come back and hit you. Definitely. It's a matter of time. Right? So in in, in Bhagavatam there is very uh, interesting uh, sloka where whenever sometimes we why things happen, uh, just like Hiranyakashipu. He was, he was, he did so much meditation, um, all of, all of the meditation, but what he used for, just like I'm thinking to kill Krishna, right? 
and he was trying to hurt his son, all the Vaishnavas, everything. Sometimes we tend to do that, right? That becomes that our destruction, the part of destruction. In Bhagavatam in, in uh, 10 canto it says, Ayu Sriyam Yaso Dharmam Lokan Asis Evacha Hanti Sriyam Si Sarvani Pumsho Mahat Atikrama. So whenever we offend a Vaishnava or devotees, we started like doing wrong activities. First thing what happens is Ayu, your A's is, is going down. Your, the, your life lifespan is taken out from you. Right? Sriyam, your money, your wealth, opulence will slowly degrade. Yesoham, your yash, your, your, your glories is going to degrade. Dharmam, even your, your religious activities, it will degrade. You will not be doing any religious activities. You will change, you will transform. Lokan Asisa, even the blessings you have got from many devotees, many people, your parents, everything blessing also will degrade. Right? Evacha. Hanti, Hanti Sriyam Si Sarvani, everything gets destroyed. Why? When a human being offends a devotee. So, how one can go out of this suffering? First question, right? So, first thing is through knowledge, jnana. It is said that somebody performs some wrong activities or some do something because of a jnana, right? Because maybe they don't know. Because I didn't know that this is like wrong thing to do because somebody has been doing from generation to generation or something. That's why the first thing important is the knowledge. Right? Just like Socrates, like if he was given the poison hemlet, he was not even tints on his face of fear was there. You could not even see that he was he was like you know even affected because he knew and I'm not his body. And so that's why knowledge completely transformed. Our as like our vision, our view of things, seeing things completely. So, knowledge. What first thing knowledge does is it gives differences. It helps what is right and what is wrong. And Bhagavad Gita Krishna explained, Tasma sastram pramanante karya karya bevastito gyatva sastram binaptotam karma kartum iharhasi. So tasma sastram. Pramana, the Sastra actually gives Pramana. Karya, a Karya, Vyavastito. What one is supposed to do and what one is one's not supposed to do. It helps us that it can guide us. That then actually we can prevent ourselves through that upcoming suffering. That prevent ourselves. Prevention is better than cure, right? The saying. So we, have to, we can prevent ourselves from that. So even Arjuna, we can see when Arjuna was suffering actually, he was going through this pain, right, this, this um, doubt and this, this illusion he was going through. Then at the end of Bhagavad Gita, right, when Krishna instructed, what did he say? Nashto moham svitri labdhva tvat prashadan maya chuta sthito svingata sandeha karishe vachanam tava So now Krishna have heard all the instructions, all the knowledge you have given to me, actually now all my doubts, my, my confusion is gone. I now know what it's actually to do and what not to do. Now please Krishna, instruct me. I am ready to fight. So that's supposed to be our, our stage. That by gaining the knowledge, we should exactly know where I am going, what is, what is my target, right? So, and Bhagavatam also explains that, um, this what this knowledge does. Yasham vai suyamanayam Krishna parama purse Bhakti utpate Bhakti utpate pumsha Soka moha bhayapaka. Three things are destroyed automatically Soka, lamentation, moha, the attachment, bhaya, bhayapaha, the fear, immediately dissipate. Right? This is a power of hearing Krishna, about hearing about Krishna Katha. The knowledge actually immediately destroy that. So, as in the video we can see, so when there is a problem, so always we need a guidance. Right? We have to find someone who can help us, who can guide us in the right way. Right? So, first thing, the doctor told him like what could be done, right? the guidance. In the same way in our life, 
we have to have a spiritual guidance. We know now, like we have to have this spiritual understanding. We need to know about spiritual knowledge. But whom, where to go? If I want to become a doctor, where should I go? I have to go to the doctor, right? In the same way, if we want to know a spiritual knowledge, we have to go to someone who knows this knowledge, right? Um, and to get this, this kind of uh, spiritual knowledge is also very, very rare, actually. Brahmani Brahmiti Kona Bhagavanjit Guru Prasadi Pai Bhakti Latabis It's very difficult actually to find the right Guru who can really guide us, you know, to, to reach our goal, our target. And all this knowledge, the spiritual knowledge came from Lord Brahma. Right? This Evam Parampara Pratam Evam Rajur Sahivijo. This knowledge came from the generation to generation, the Parampara, right? Like our spiritual master Srila Prabhupada, he got his knowledge from his guru, Bhaktisanta and his guru, and this goes on uh, Brahma and Krishna and all this parampara, this chain of deceptic succession, right? So we have to have a guru. Without guru, it is impossible to get Krishna. Right? We might get some kind of temporary relief of the suffering or something, we're trying to like some solution we might get. But the permanent whoever can give solution is only guru. Right? Who can give Krishna to us? And, and, and one beautiful bhajan, Bhaktiva Thakur has explained, Eka ki amara nahi paye bala haridama sankirtane tumi kripa kori shraddha bindu diya deho Krishna namadhane Krishna se tomara, Krishna dvite para, tomara sakati ache. Amito kangala, Krishna Krishna boli, dhaitava pache pache. Amito kangala, Krishna Krishna. I don't have qualification. I, I cannot afford this machine to buy. Right? I cannot afford. So who can give Krishna? I have to go to someone who has this, right? So I have to run after the devotees because Krishna se tomara, because devotees always carry Krishna. So whoever has something, they can only give, right? If somebody doesn't have something, they can never give. So devotees always carry Krishna. That he is praying, Bhakti Thakur is praying, Krishna se tomara, Krishna di de power. Now, because you have Krishna, you have power to give to Krishna. You have power to give Krishna to me. So I am begging you, please give me this Krishna to me also, right? So this is very, very important that we have to accept um, a guru who can always guide us, right? So there's also one, one, um, one scenario in Mahabharata where um, one day before the, before the um, uh, the war started. Dhritarashtra called call Sanjay. Sanjay, can you tell me what is going to happen? Because we have got blessings from Vyasa. We can see everything, past, future, everything. And Sanjay said that I can tell you, my king, but I want somebody to be here with me. Because if I tell you the truth, you're going to kill me. So, it, the thruster um, in, uh, invites Vyasadev to, to come and Vyasadev, in front of Vyasadev and Sanjay started explaining that all your families, all your ch children are going to die, my king. Everything, all these armies are going to die. They will remain few, and the Pandavas will remain. Then the thruster asks this question to Sanjay. So Sanjay, how come, you know, Vyasadev we both are the disciple of Vyasadev. On top of that, I am even son of Vyasadev. But why are you so smarter than me? How come you have this, this, this powerful knowledge? Why you are super smart than me? Why? So he explains that actually, Maharaj, actually your patra, like, just like a son, right? Son is giving light to everybody. He is not partial. But if you shut down the door, like, you know, the sun rays will never reach you. In the same way, somebody is trying to tell you. So, like, you know, Bidur tried to explain to him, 
Ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. Then you do you then say, oh, again, you shut down everything because your attachment, your feet has a lot of holes. You have a patch of the holes. The more holes you have, you cannot accumulate these things. So you have a lot of holes, Maharaj said. Right? And whatever somebody receives, just like this, this very nice uh, story, there's one small boy, 12 years old, Pro, um, Birabhadra. He asks Srila Prabhupada one day, Srila Prabhupada, why? Why you are so much merciful to Tamal, Tamal Krishna Maharaj at the time? So Prabhupada said, no. I'm not, like, he has, I don't have like separate, like, you know, he's like best or I'm giving like special mercy to him or something, no. He said, Prabhupada said, the only difference is he has accepted what I've given. No, the, like just like a teacher in the class, right? He teaches everyone. He makes he want he gives this knowledge to everybody, but who accepts it, who practices it, that makes a difference, right? In the same way, that's why the guidance and association is very very important. And uh, second aspect is austerity. So one once we get a guidance, now we have to start acting on it. We have to work hard. So this is just like this this lady, right? In the beginning, you fall down. Like you might, you'll have difficulties. You don't know even like you know you taking wearing suit of sun. You you don't know how to how to go on, on on the machine. You you will fall down. You have difficulties, but you keep up. Never give up. Right. That's a very important thing. You have a target to go. Now we have a target, right? To to achieve love of God, in, right? And the thing with the fifty nine it represents time. So we have limited time. This whole our body now we got. This is the time we have. We don't know what next life, what we're going to do or something. But if we have realized that this is what I have to achieve, let's do it now. Right? This human life makes it successful, Krishna says. Right? Manushya janma paya radha krishna na bhajya chaniya sunya bishakhainu. Actually, we are just like eating poison. So get ready. We have to really, really work hard. You And sometimes, sometimes people will tease you. Right when I was I was practicing Krishna consciousness in my college college days and um, in Nepal, people used to tease like you know this Hari Krishna, Kupi Wala, this you know even my parents doesn't become favorable, you know they hide the dhoti, hide the bit back, but you continue, you don't give up because you know what I have to achieve. Just like when Parikshit Maharaj was cursed, when Sri um, Shabhi Krishna came, he said, now don't give up this attachment, I mean, do something, get go to your guru and get the guidance. Where you can get this salvation. In the same way, we have to really give up. I know you want to do certain things, but you have to sacrifice. Right? And um, there's so many things to talk, but um, time is very limited. Uh, so, so tapasya is very, very important. Rishadev, he was instructed to his hundred sons. Very, very important instructions, actually. Right? Because it's, this getting this body is very very like you know rare nayam deho deha bhajam viloke kashtan kamanarate vidam bujam ye tapo divyam putra kaina satpam sudhye desmat brahma sokhyam tvanantam he said my son nayam deho he is pointing to his body is himself this body right he says nayam deho deha bhajam viloke Kashtan Kaman Arati Vid Bhutamja. Why you are like using this body like a pig? Just for enjoying, right? He says, Rishabhe, the tourists are my dear boys. Of all the living entities who have accepted material bodies in this world, one who has been awarded this human form should not work hard day and night simply for sense gratification, which is available even for dogs and hogs, and that eats too. So, one should engage in penance and austerity to attain the divine position of devotion service. By such activities, one heart is purified and when one attains this position, he attains eternal blissful life, which is a transcendental to material happiness and which continues forever. So, we have to do, you have to go through tapasya, you do tapasya. Kastan kaman arate bidam bujambe. You are, sub, you, are trying to sub, you are trying to struggle and do all this work hard for what? All these hugging the animals, what are they doing? Ahara, Nidra, Bhai, Mithum, all these things they are also doing. Why are you wasting your valuable life? Do something that will give you eternal happiness. That's what he's trying to explain, right? 
In Bhagavatam, this is also if something we're doing is working so hard, but if it is not giving us bhakti, it's just Shrama Evahi Kevalam. It's just quest. You know, you're digging, digging, Koda Pahar Nikla Chua. What's the point, right? You're working so hard, like, you know, but ultimately, what you gain? Nothing. Zero. So don't be like that. He's instructing his all his son. So different kind of austerities are performed based on our three modes, right? Um, and actually, Krishna explained different um, different kind of uh, austerity, austerity of body, austerity of speech, mind, intelligence. I'm, I'm not going to go on this, uh, but I um, want to talk about different modes that um, that austerity is being performed. Based on our moods, we perform austerity because our desires are different. The, the people who are in moods of ignorance, why they do perform austerity? Just to hurt other people. Isko marna hai. So let me do some austerity. Tapasha karna hai to destroy somebody else. Just like Basmasur, this demon, he was doing austerity, performing tapasha for lakhs years. Like thousands and thousands of years you're doing tapasha. And what do you want to do? Lord Shiva, he says, you get a wonderful boon. What kind of boon he want? What he, when, whichever hair I touch, my Lord, his head, boom. Are, <laughs> you, you did so much austerity, just like this guy. This is the mentality. I want to destroy somebody. I want to hurt somebody. That's the mode of ignorance. They, they perform austerity, heavy. Even we cannot do that kind of austerity. But they do heavy austerity for this. Hiranyakashipu, Vishnu ko mar I want to kill Vishnu. That was his soul. Complete intention in, 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 his, in his mind. Just the intention to kill somebody. That's the intention. Then the mood of passion. Why people perform austerity? They perform for fame, name, gain. So most, most of the austerity, these are performed for demigods. You know, I want dhanam dehi, putram dehi, striyam dehi, om jaye chagadi shahare. Right? Dharas, dhanam sampati ave. Like all this, you know. We have this material desire and like fame, name, all this we perform. This is actually in mode of passion. So we are supposed to actually perform the uh, austerity in mode of goodness. Because that actually purifying. We are actually trying to purify ourselves and try to connect more closer to Krishna. More connect, try to connect our relationship that is broken. Right? That is very, very important thing. Right? So we have to give up all this, this desire, anya vilasita sunyam, jnana karma adhivratam, give up all this, you know, knowledge, desires and everything and focus on the goal that I have to gain, um, connect to the Supreme Lord. But in Kali Yuga, it's very, very difficult actually, very difficult because there's so many doses, so many imperfections, you'll see right and left everywhere, right, even spiritual society is Bekar, teachers, Bekar, very nice, recently like the long time ago, I heard the news, uh, there's a teacher in a, in, in a newspaper, you know, the principal and the principal was with the shoes on his neck, you know, this kind of picture. So why? why? Because this this teacher was uh, trying to exploit her, his student. See this nature? Why? Because people are not practicing. Just like Arjuna. You know, when um, his, his student, when he was in Virat, right, he was in Agyadvas. So his student, right, after Agyadvas finished, he fought then um, with, the, with the Kauravas, right. And the king was so happy because he protected his son, right. And he said, I want to offer my daughter to you, right. And what he said? No. She's like my student, right. I cannot accept Uttara like as my wife you better marry her with my son Apimanyu he's very qualified see that's a, that's that's a quality right that's a like when even Arjuna you know when he went to the heavenly planet Urvasi even but he was so disciplined because he know but that's why this practice actually Krishna we are going details Krishna talks about all this austerity very very important very very important so when we perform this kind of austerity then we are able to go in the stage and how we have to perform right krishna explains and as in kali yuga it's very difficult for us so the only possible is chanting the holy name of lord kalir dosu nidhe rajan asti eko mahat guna kirtanat eva krishnasya mukta sangha parambhade how can we reach that goal 
that Krishna, I want to reach this. I'm, I want to reach you. But this, this Kali Yuga is influenced so much. But Krishna, there's Narasimha Bhagavata Prakshita Maharaj explained. I know there is like Kali Dosha, it's so many faults. But only one guna, one, one of the best thing in this Kali Yuga is only one thing. Kirtanat Eva Krishna for chanting the holy name of the Lord. That is the only perfect thing in this world. Because it's easy. Anytime, any place, anywhere you can do. Sleeping, khaite, suite, any place you can chant the holy name of the Lord. Right? And actually it's purified. It purifies us. Right? So everyone please let's chant with our heart and open and pray to Lord Shamsudar. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna. Sorry, I took it in longer time. Hare Krishna. Any questions or comments? One. No questions? Thank you very much. Hopefully. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.